Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Fallout 2. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today here as I leveled up and Gore is leveled up. Marcus, no, actually it wasn't Gore, it was um was Bo uh, Cat and Brainbot leveled up. They have gained abilities. Brainbot said increased accuracy by 20. Or 20 accuracy in this like no space between 20 accuracy. It's really weird. But I've taken care of that um in between episodes because uh, we're fighting guys below and all these guys are gonna need to die they will all die in their due turn now let me just quick save over here because i'm gonna press c for the first time after leveling up oh we don't get any perks i wanted to get some perks Aww. ah well we're getting up there in regards to skill points so we might even be able to use energy weapons later on we'll see uh probably not probably not gonna go with that but last episode we killed these robots and uh these fine ladies over here hello god bless america she says mm-hmm the Enclave, as I keep saying, uh, just, they're the old government. They're, uh, they're, this is, this is the president. As I, as I, as I keep saying, it's, it's, it's got something to do with how I, uh, how much I've been, uh, I, I've, I've just recently finished Fall of New Vegas, and, uh, in Fall of New Vegas, the NCR very much takes on the shape of the old government sort of thing, so it, it's, it's kind of an interesting thing, but the Enclave in Fallout 2 really is just, Politically, at least, and I guess legally, uh, still very much the descendants from the uh, old government. Although they do stand for something different. They stand more for what the Master stood for. A little bit of what the Master stood for in um, in the first uh, in the first game. A little bit. I say a little bit because they are not quite. But we'll see. We'll talk to the president today. But first, let's talk to this lady over here. See, she, if she, she talks. You want to knock before barging in like that, she says. Really? You don't talk to me? Oh, I thought she did. Oh, can I uh, see what you have on your desk? No? Okay. It's all fine. Uh, I also want to talk to Vice President Bird, who apparently now has a different name. Let's not mess with him. Let's mess with you. Oh, hello, Trooper. What are you doing in Vice President's office? Uh, the what? I'm Vice President Daniel Bird. Damn glad to meet you. Damn glad to meet you. Yep, well... You're just another part of the whole problem here. I am part of the problem. I I am not part of the problem, he says. I am a Republican. Oh, like I said, part of the problem. Oh, that's not true. Republicans understand the importance of ban bondage between a mother and child. That's the key to the solution of all our problems. We need a return to family values. Uh, what you and the Enclave are up to has nothing to do with family values. I stand by all my all the misstatements that I've made. I feel that we're taking a little bit of a political undertone in this whole thing, don't you think? Um, hmm. I, I think in the in the course of this Let's Play, I managed to sound like I'm a, a, a Scientologist, and I'm a Republican, and I probably other things as well. <laughs> Uh, I, 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 I'm not American, so I, I'm, not, I, I'm not a Republican. Um, but this not, what I mean is this is a little bit, I mean, right? Right? Hmm. Don't you understand? Let's see what if I can just say something that that would be, you know, to the point. Although it it this is just this is just it's not even satire, it's more just mocking than anything else. It doesn't really have any connection to the world, to the world of uh of the game. But anyway, let's see. Um Let's go with this one. I don't really know if I should be, if my character should be saying this because we don't really know the Enclave's motives yet. But I'll just go with this one. Don't you understand? You'll create another Holocaust if you continue. The Holocaust was an obscene period in our nation's history. I mean, in this century's history. But we all lived in this century. I didn't live in this century. What? Uh, you're a flipping loony. What a waste it is to lose one's mind, or not to have a mind, is being very wasteful. How true that is. Uh, well, I say it's usually a waste, but in your case, I'm willing to make an exception. I am not... Okay. Yeah, it just goes back to that. Uh, tell me, how do you spell tomato? With an E or without? Uh, what? Without, of course. Perhaps that's best. Keep it brief. After all, verbosity leads to unclear, inarticulate things. Uh, yeah, just don't go on Twitter? Because you, you... Sure. Um, imagine that. Well, you can't 
be too careful. After all, people are really very weird. People that are really very weird can get into sensitive positions and have a tremendous impact on history. Uh, what what impact? Uh, uh, what impact are you talking about? Uh, well, well, wait a minute. What was that? My question. What impact are you planning to have on history? Oh, that's the one. Ah, I see. Well, as you may know, I've long thought it's a time for the human race to enter the solar system. Wait a minute. We are already in the... Ugh, to go where? I think that maybe Mars would be nice, because Mars is essentially in the same orbit. Mars is somewhat the same distance from the Sun, which is very important. We have seen pictures where there are canals, we believe, and water... If there is water, that means there is oxygen. If oxygen, that means we can breathe. Well, no, and no. There's water in places where there's no oxygen, because it might be frozen, or because it might be coated by a layer of nitrogen, or because it just might be underground, or because the canals might have not... I mean, just so many jumping to conclusions. But even if there is oxygen, it doesn't mean we can, bre we can breathe, because it might have a too much concentration of other things, of like, not even too little oxygen, it might be too too contaminated with other terrible things. Um, you've lost your mind. Ah, okay, it goes back to that. Oh. <laughs> this guy is, is crazy. Well, whatever, goodbye. Carry on, trooper, the future will be better tomorrow, he says. Um... Not for you, it won't. I'm exterminating, exterminating all pompous slugs in the Enclave, and you're next. You won't get away with it. Why not? One word sums up probably the res probably the responsibility of any vice president. Pre and that one word is to be prepared. Oh, isn't that three words? Preparedness is one word. Isn't that what you meant? Perhaps that's best. Keep it brief. Oh. Oh, come on. Just what are you prepared for? Ah, I see. Oh, Come on! Uh, for, I asked about the uh, going to the, the solar system. How would you, how would we do that? For NASA, space is still a high priority. Was it, oh my God! Isn't NASA uh, the oh, oh, isn't the only thing about NASA space national agency for space agencies national association? I don't know what that is. I don't know what it means. I know it's space. It's right there in the name. Where would we be going then? Okay. Um, I didn't expect a complete answer. Oh, of course you do, of course. Wait a minute, what? I didn't expect such a complete answer, and of course you do? Sure, any loyal citizen of these great United States would do the same. Uh, yeah, I've got work to do. Yeah, whatever, see you later. So, uh, this guy is actually very easy to uh, never talk to, and to be honest, I rarely ever... Oh no, don't mess with that guy. I rarely ever talk to him, but... Um, I'm glad I did, because that was weird. That was really weird. I, I wish I wish they oh, I wish they had spent a little bit more time and effort and creativity and, and, and heart into the whole thing. <sighs> At least the, the whole political jokes went away, because that was getting nowhere. Anyway, hey! Well, hello there. Glad to make time for one of our gallant troopers, but I, I am rather busy, so um, what can the President of the United States of America do for you? A president? Who are you, anyway? I am the President of the United States of America. The Vice President is in the office outside. If you belonged here, you'd know that. Who are you, and what are you doing here? Yeah, the Vice President. You mean that drooling idiot next door? Vice President Bird may look like a drooling idiot. <laughs> but I'll have you know, that man's a national hero. To you, probably, but why would I say that? I would, sure. He's one of the bravest men I know. He volunteered to try one of the early versions of the FEV toxin antidote. Ah. Unfortunately, it didn't quite work out the way we'd hoped. You mean that wasn't what you'd hoped for? It's tiny mocking minds like yours that prove the superiority of real humans over mutants. Wait a minute. Mm, what? It didn't quite work out the way we'd hoped for. And apparently me saying you mean that wasn't what you'd hoped for is me rephrasing his sentence and trying to be mocking. He's still a gibbering idiot. And also, why are you calling me a mutant? But let's go with the idiot first. He may yet come around. 
In he fact, may. <laughs> there may even be some unforeseen benefits. His spelling ability has actually improved. Oh, I'm happy for you, but why did you call me a mutant? Because you are. Your tribe's DNA has changed since your ancestor left the vault. Unavoidable. All that background radiation you've been exposed to. Uh... Creatures change all the time. It's called evolution. It's actually called forced evolution in the case of a forced evolutionary virus, but it's still called evolution. Without that change, you and I still would, would still be two bits of protoplasmic goo. Very moving. But the radical changes your villagers and other mutants show is a far cry from the gradual changes of natural evolution. Uh, well, maybe we're changing into a better version of the human race. Did you ever think of that? It's very possible, indeed. In which case, our mission is even more vital to the survival of the human race. What, what do you mean by that? I don't think this tired old planet's big enough for two top dogs. If it's us or you, well, I'm going to choose us. I don't think you get to make that kind of choice. As the embodiment of the executive branch, I bear the burden of ensuring the survival and prosperity of the United States and of humanity itself. A heavy burden. And yet, if it means the return of the Earth to our children and to their children, I bear it gladly. Hmm. Oh, how do you intend to do that? Wh what are you doing here? You really don't know, do you? I do. Just... Let me tell you about mankind's salvation. A little history first. Oh, the first? Wh why do you have a base at Navarro? Simple. Navarro is an isolated base. Our vertebrates have a limited range. They refuel there. Makes sense. Uh, hmm. A little history. Yeah, before you get into that, I saw some of your vertibirds doing some trade with New Reno. What, what's that all about? We've run short of certain critical chemicals. We can get them from the drug labs of New Reno. If the mutant mobsters use our guns to kill each other, it just saves us the trouble. Everything works in your favor, huh? Tell me the rest of your story. There's so many... Now, hmm. Ugh. I can't really... I, I've, I've, I've made it... Uh, sorry for this little offshoot that I'm going to do here, but I've made it... Uh, I, made, I said before um, that my favorite Fallout game of Fallout 1 or 2 are uh, is Fallout 1. And that's because the story is more cohesive. And uh, even the final boss is better. The master is, is better. Is a better final boss. This guy is not the final boss, but I mean... He's a tired old man. And that's pretty cool. I mean, I, I like very much the Enclave, and I like this se se uh, sequence. And he is consistent of, its, of himself. He's uh, simple and shallow, shallow. But in his simpleness and shallowness, there's a lot of undertones here that resonate with a lot of stuff. Oh, boy. With a lot of stuff that happened in history and is happening right now. And it's kind of, kind of, uh, interesting. I, I'm seeing it with new eyes, I would say. Um, so everything works in your favor, huh? Okay, tell me the story. Uh, hmm. I know. A little history. There was a great war, long before we were born. Our gallant soldiers fought from the Yukon to the Yangtze. Yeah, I, I know about that part. Go on. We were winning, too. And then those damn Reds launched. We barely got our birds up. Doesn't seem as though it helped us much. Well, no, it didn't. But at least it knocked the damn red menace back into the Stone Age. <laughs> and us with it. Well, no. No, not quite. You see, we had planned ahead. We were ready. What do you mean? We had a number of sanctuaries that would enable the glorious American civilization to endure this facility. The vaults were part of the great plan. Those damn vaults didn't work the way they were supposed to. A lot of people in them died. Actually, they worked almost exactly the way they were supposed to. You might call it a social experiment on a grand scale. An experiment? The vaults were set up to test humanity. Some had not enough food synthesizers. Others had only men in them. Yet others were designed to open after only six months. 
They each had a unique set of circumstances designed to test the occupants. Don't look at me like that. What, what about Vault 13? What was its purpose? Ah, Vault 13 was a special case. It was supposed to remain closed until the subjects were needed. Vault 13 was, in scientific parlance, a control group. But they would all have died if my assessor didn't get them a replacement water chip. That doesn't seem to fit in your plan. An unfortunate and unforeseen accident. However, as it turns out, a rather fortuitous one. Doubtful. Doubtful. Because I'm the one that survived and it goes around. Actually, everybody would be dead already. And you guys be fi would be fighting super mutants rather than normal mutants, which, you know, are us if it weren't for that unforeseen accident. As it turns out, we needed test subjects from untainted pre-war human stock, your ancestors in Vault 13, and some freshly mutated stock, the villagers from Arroyo. Why? For the project. It's almost ready. Humanity's salvation is almost at hand, and the United States of America will be the progenitor of that rebirth. What do you mean? The only way for true humans and democracy to be safe is to cleanse the mutants from the globe. We humans will take back that which is rightfully ours. True humans? I'm a true human too. I'm sure you think so. But tests performed on your tribesmen have all shown that you are guilty of mutation. And it's a damn good thing the project is ready. Why? Some of the members of your tribe are showing some extremely interesting changes. If the danger to true humanity weren't so great, I would think about studying them, but uh, that's not to be. Wh why not? The project will cleanse all the mutants from our fair land and the rest of the globe. Once again, America will be the world's policeman. Cleanse the mutants? Sounds a bit drastic. How are you going to do that? We found a research facility in operational shape about 70 years ago. A former military base that had been used to research a special virus. Yeah, I told you about that. I, we've been there. A virus. Yes, the FEV virus. It the was FEV. originally developed to turn soldiers into super warriors, but it failed. The warriors were tough and strong, but far too stupid. However, our brilliant chemical core altered it. Oh, it's core. Good. Um, yeah, it's not FEV virus. It's FEV or FE virus. Anyway, why, why did you alter the, the, the virus? To turn it into a staggeringly effective killer. Any humanoid that isn't inoculated against its effects before its release will die. That is the project. That is insane. No, no, that's humanity's last best hope. That's what we've been working towards all these years. No, no. Go back and look what I just said. That is insane. Humanity's last best hope is insane. What you've been working for towards all these years is insane. So all... You have all this poison and no way to spread it around, though. He does. Oh. That's one of the advantages of the FEV virus. The FEV. We can release it right here, and the jet stream will carry it worldwide. It'll have plenty of time to cleanse every nook and cranny of the globe. This guy hasn't played the... What's he called? Ah, oh, man. There's a mobile game that where you play as a virus and stuff. Nah, this guy hasn't played it. Okay, then. Why... Did you have to kidnap my villagers? Uh, and, well, my co-villagers, I guess. And, and the people from Vault 13? I'm not the mayor, after all, so it's not my villagers. Test subjects? Your villagers are all descended from Vault Stock, and we had to make sure that the FEV toxin was still effective. The subjects from Vault 13 test that, and an inoculation against the FEV. You're not testing the inoculation on my people? It's hardly necessary. I'm sure we could, and it would work, but there's no reason to do so. Did it ever occur to you that what you're doing is, well, wrong? Never. Mm. Part of the president's job is to make the tough decisions. A lot of near humans will sacrifice their lives for the return of humanity. Humans will prevail. <laughs> the answer to that question is yes. At all, in all accounts, it, you, if you want to defend an argument, 
even if you didn't think uh, anything against that argument, you always if somebody asks you, did you ever consider this? Yes, if you want to defend it. Not, no, I didn't consider that. I don't care. That's what he's saying right there. Yeah, but just because, you know, mm, just because everyone out there doesn't have an exact copy of your DNA, that doesn't give you a license to exterminate them. This is really weak argumentation here, but let's go with that. Oh, I don't relish this decision. If there was another way, but there isn't. No there price is. is too high for the survival of the human race. If you were human, you'd feel the same way. I think we'd got... No, just what we... Mm. There's a line. There's a line, Mr. Mr. President Richardson. Yes, yes, I know your name. It's right there. You didn't tell me your name, but I know. He, when he said, I chose... We choose us... Oh, that's a little history. Okay. Um, I don't know where the line is, but he said, we choose us. He accepted that we were human, and we were basically top dogs. So, no. But I can't... Don't look at me like that! Uh, but, yeah, I can't, I can't make that. You really... I can't make that argument. You really believe that, don't you? Yes, I do. Even killing me won't help you. There's nothing you can do to stop the release. His eyes. Uh, oh, there, there, there is. There, there is. That, that, there, there is. Maybe I'll just figure out a way to give you a taste of your own medicine. You could try, I suppose, but soon the staff of the Enclave and Navarro will be inoculated. They aren't already. We just have to distribute the supplies. A matter of hours. Besides, the Enclave is a sealed unit. No air or contaminants get in or get out. We'll see. In the meantime, I'm taking you out of the picture, personally. You might find that tougher than you think. If you do, I'll go to my reward knowing that I died a patriot and a servant of humanity. Time for your reward. Okay. They're coming. Ooh, that's a pulse pistol. Good for you, man. I'm also alone here. What does he have? I don't think he has anything. Yeah, okay, so I need to get you out of the picture, sir. Let's go with that. Good. And now you. We're alone in the room. There's no special death. Gain five karma for killing the president. Of the Enclave. I gain farm ca five karma. That's right. That's right. That's right. I should have gained like 500. Sure, 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 sure. 17 hit points right there on that steam pack. Pretty decent. Okay, now we can murder everybody and that's good. Well, I say everybody, but really it's not going to be everybody. It's just going to be a few of them. There's... Uh, probably it's going to be everybody. We, I think we killed everything. Every, no, there's that guy over there. And Oh, we're being shot at. Excuse me. You shouldn't... You shouldn't, you shouldn't do that. That's, uh, it's dangerous. Okay. Okay. That was a very, very weak... Hmm. That was very weak. So they all have pulse pistols. Yeah. Oh, no, this guy has a pulse rifle. That's worse. No, both of them have a pulse rifle. Let's see if I can kill you. Hmm, I might die. I hope I don't. Because I'm gonna have to have that whole conversation again. Oh, thank you for missing. Okay. Please don't kill me. Thank you. Very much. For not killing me. I almost pressed space right there. That would have been terrible. Okay, so I want and need a different weapon here. Also, I'm gonna just reload this because that way I don't forget the next time I use it. Put it over there, and uh, let's get uh, super steam. Let's not go with super steam packs because those are actually dangerous to use because they um, they uh, they take my health away. So I might die, and I have died in the past to super steam packs. Excuse the hiccup. At least as far as I remember, uh, we gained three hit points before. Hmm. That was kind of sad. Okay, get that, and let's see what I can do here against all these guys with this beautiful, beautiful weapon. Okay. 
Are you kidding me? Well, I think I'm gonna die. Maybe not. If these guys keep missing. No. They keep shooting twice, actually. That's a nice miss. Okay. So that's not a good thing that just happened. That is not a good thing. I will be able to use uh, the ghost pistol. I'm also going to take uh, Psycho here. Didn't get addicted. That's great. My intelligence has uh, gone down. Which is great as well because it means that I didn't did I not use Psycho before? Hmm. Or maybe just, you know, I don't know. We're probably gonna have to sleep over here or something. Ah, it doesn't matter. We can. We can do that. Okay. So that's good. What I am gonna do... My god, that thing is ineffective. Uh, is I'm gonna try and kill you. Okay. That's a kill. Looking at the health here. That is not a kill. But it is now. That lady's really upset with me. Oh boy. She is really good. Fortunately, they're not doing any damage, but... That's not the only damage I have to contend with. And they're gonna be able to hit me properly this time. As long as they don't crit, we'll be okay. Ish. That was very little damage, though. Was I knocked out? Oh, I was knocked out. Okay, I'm dead. Because if I'm knocked out, I don't know how... Are you kidding me? Oh, no. <laughs> okay, time for a super steam pack, then. Um, okay. Let's get super steam pack. Right there. Uh, now you... That guy is... What does he have? Oh, he has a ghost rifle. That's why it's not doing as much damage. Okay. You need to go. Oh, at least I got the kill there. Yeah, you guys please stop shooting me. I mean, how is she, how powerful is she that she's able to uh, to bring me down? And she's critically... She's critting me. Okay, that's the ghost rifle. It's not going to do much damage. Uh, let's kill you. Stop wasting my bullets. Unfortunately, I'm just not doing the damage I need. Oh, boy. But at least we survived. I got really lucky. That knockout was absolutely awful. These guys are all going to be splattered all over the place. They're not going to enjoy what I have for them. That guy is using a super steam pack. That's actually good, because that way I don't have to carry it. And look at that. Just indeed all of your hard work with that super steam pack, didn't I? Didn't die now. Okay, let's look at our inventory. And uh, let's take steam packs ourselves. And that's gonna be... Nice, I rolled the 20 right there. Pretty good, I was hoping for a 20. Because that way I have almost maximum health and these guys are missing. But they are getting... <clears throat> excuse me, they are getting themselves positioned for... This. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And now you, miss. And now you. Her hair was a little must. Oh, another reference, huh? Yeah, sure. 5170 experience. I see you. Did he stop? Did I stop? No, I didn't. I didn't stop him. So they're scripted. They're properly scripted to keep coming. And that is good. That is good to see. I don't know where he came from, though, but he's going down. Fuck you, bastard, he says. Yeah, that was... Uh, did I just kill him with, with a critical? I think I did. Uh, 26. And that was... Yeah, I did. Awesome. Is there anybody else? No, that was another 75, uh, 750 experience right there. Very good. I think we have come to the conclusion that the uh, Avenger minigun is a bunch of balls. And uh, I don't want to use it again, most likely, because that was... I just let me down very much. Just let me down. But 
anyway, we're out of time for the day. And what is up with that grenade over there that didn't stack? Uh, I don't want you. What are you... Those... Those are all plasma grenades. Why don't they stack? They stack. They just... Um, maybe one of them were, was equipped and the game didn't... Uh, properly register that but anyway that's gonna be that for today because we're out of time as i said so i'm colonel rpg and this has been fallout 2 i really hope you've enjoyed it and if you did go ahead and leave a comment like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later but above all thank you so much for watching and i hope i'll see you next episode Bye bye